So if you shoot a piece of footage with your Sony camera and you want to create both a horizontal video for Presto, a horizontal video for YouTube, and vertical video for your Instagram or TikTok feed, here's the way you do it. You have to start on the front end before you get on deadline. Go to uh, Premiere Pro, uh, click Command N to get a new sequence. And as you can see here, nowhere does it say Instagram or anything like that. Your regular uh, horizontal video settings would be somewhere like here, uh, DSLR 1080p 30. But what we're going to look for is something over here. Click on settings, change the frame size to 1080 by 1350 for Instagram. Those are the presets for, or the, uh, those are the numbers for Instagram. Hit save preset, give it a name like Instagram, and I always add what the actual dimensions are in the file name so that I'll know for later. And then you hit OK. Let it filter in, and there it is. It's down at the bottom under custom, and you'll find some other ones here that I've made in the past, but there's Instagram. 1080 by 1350, click OK. A sequence shows up over here in your Premiere Pro. And we're just going to take this uh, footage that uh, was shot yesterday of guitarist Joe Walsh. Let's say you've got your sequences done and your video output horizontally. Now you want to make an Instagram video, drag it into the timeline, and you can see that he does not fit. You got these big black bars all around, but the basic dimensions there of an Instagram video are evident. So take the, the clip, highlight it once, come up to Effect Controls, click once on Effect Controls, and it's under Video Scale. It's right here. Click on that number. It, right now it's set to 100%. And in general, 222 is a good setting to start with. You can see Mr. Walsh pops right in at the exact right size. If you want to move him a little bit to the left or to the right, use this position uh, setting here. If you need to go up or down, obviously you're going to get some black bars if you do that. But uh, you can blow it up and play with it just as you can in, in many other video editing programs. And from there, you just output as um, you just output here, and you need to match the source. And I make mine adaptive high bit rate. The other options, if you make it 1080p, well, then you get a 1080p video. But that's not what you want. You want to match the source. So click on that. Click on export, and in just a few seconds, you will have a nice vertical video of Joe Walsh. And thank you for the warm welcome and to the entire city council for There he is. Thanks for watching.